Welcome back friends, it's Anders. Today we are making a drink known as the Campari Shakerado. This is a single ingredient cocktail. Some of you coffee enthusiasts may already know of a drink called the Cafe Shakerado. This is related to it, but it's a fun alcoholic version that only calls for one ingredient, Campari. I should also say that I am not sponsored or affiliated with Campari. There's a few things to cover here. Number one, Campari, why do we use it? Why do we have to shake it? Does it do anything? If we only have one ingredient, can we still call it a cocktail? Does it work with other, other spirits? Does it work with other aperitivos, amari? All of this and more on the Anders Ericsson Show today. Thank you for watching, like and subscribe. We'll see you next time, I'm joking. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for more sips, tips, and recipes. And let's go shake up a Campari Shakerado to the bar. Today's video is sponsored by Catalina Crunch. I'm always talking about cocktails here on the channel, but today we are gonna talk about something that pairs really well with said cocktails, snacks. Catalina Crunch makes a crunch mix, which is an excellent snack, super crunchy, and comes in a multitude of flavors. I got the variety pack, which has four flavors, cheddar, the traditional, the spicy kick, and then the creamy ranch. Personal favorite? Spicy Kick comes with crunchy cereal, high protein chickpea pretzels, cheese crisps, which is difficult for me to say, and nuts. It's savory and spicy with crunchy cheesy bits. Real ingredients with very little to no sugar. It's low carb, high fiber, and high protein, a good alternative to high carb snacks. It's also keto friendly. Me, I just like a good crunchy snack. Actually, this is the second round of snacks I got from Catalina Crunch because we demolished the first round. Click on the link down below, use the code Anders at checkout and you will receive 15% off site-wide. If you subscribe, you get even more of a discount. Get some snacks and be happy for once in your life. Thank you, Catalina Crunch. On to the film. So, the Shakerado. What is it? Well, the Shakerado is a style of drink that was created in Italy in the 1960s. Now, I already mentioned in the intro, the Cafe Shakerado, which is made with espresso, some sugar. The idea is you shake it vigorously with ice and it's airy and fluffy and fun. Now, this also works with other ingredients, alcoholic ingredients, specifically in this case, Campari. So now we have to ask ourselves, uh, why, 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 why would we do that? I think we need to understand what Campari is. I probably should have started this off by saying, if you're not a fan of Campari, then you might not like the Campari Shakerado. But, 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 but stick around, stick around, because we are gonna talk about technique and some important things that we can carry over into other cocktails. One thing to keep in mind about the Shakerado, a very cool name, but what's important, as important as the ingredient, is the technique that we use, the shaking vigorously with ice. What does that do? Well, it chills it. It also dilutes it rather quickly. Most importantly, it adds air. This is something that is important with all shaken cocktails. If you've got something like citrus, it's gonna tone down those sharp flavors. But in the Shakerado's case, those little bubbles add texture. It makes it light, airy, fluffy. Now, can you just shake any one ingredient and call that a Shakerado? I suppose you could, but you probably won't get the desired results that you're looking for because it's gonna flatten the flavor, it's gonna make it dull and thin, unless you have something that already is a big, bold flavor like Campari. It has a bitter finish, but it also has a sweetness up front. So it is a nice balance of bitter and sweet. So it holds up to dilution. That's a good thing. But the most important part about the Campari is the oils that are in the spirit. When they make Campari, and I don't know how they make Campari or, or what goes in it, it's, it's a secret and I'm not privy to that information, but they use dozens of herbs and botanicals. Those botanicals leave behind oils and those oils help the air bubbles stay in your drink. And it even gives you a thin layer of foam on top. So now the booze, which we've already done, it's Campari. You are also going to want a lemon. It's common to do orange oil across the top, but I like the bright lemon on the nose. So let's make it. This is pretty straightforward. We're gonna start with the Campari. Two ounces of Campari. Now, a lot of people will do three ounces of Campari, but I like a smaller drink for this because those bubbles that make the drink so light and airy and fluffy and fun don't last forever. And so the idea is you want to drink it fresh and three ounces of Campari drunk quickly is not how I'd prefer to drink Campari. So I'm gonna do two ounces, slightly less. If I want another one, I'll make another one. And that is it. We are going to add ice and shake. Erato, 
Shakerato. Shake this good and hard for at least 10 seconds. Let's say 15 seconds. Shake the heck out of it. Nice and frosty on the outside. Double strain into the chilled cocktail glass. Gonna be lots of ice chips, so it might take a little time to filter through. It's a pretty color. Express some lemon oil across the top, hit the sides. And there we have the oh so lovely Campari Shakerado. Oz, would you care to try the Campari Shakerado? Heck yeah. I've had it before. And you and like I, it. And I like it a lot, which is yeah. why I'm here. All right. To tell you how much I like it. Okay, cheers. Mmm. Mmm. It's pretty nice, isn't it? I like Let it. Let me try one. Cheers. Mm. I do like that. That's good. It does um, it help to kind of soften the uh, strong flavor of yeah. the Campari. Yeah, mm -hmm. lots of people don't like Campari. Mm -hmm. I mean, I get it. It's really bitter. It's really, but also it's, it's really sweet also. Would you call this a cocktail or a gimmick? I would call it its own thing. Mm. Uh, there is a, a, a gimmicky element, I mm -hmm. think, but it, it actually is light and airy and fun. And if you're a fan of Campari, then I think clearly you're gonna like this this drink. You get sweet, you get bitter, you get all these these flavors that you would expect in a cocktail. Yeah, but it doesn't really matter. I don't care, because I like it. Mm -hmm. And I'll drink it whether it's a cocktail or not. Uh, well, since we're here, maybe, well, I was curious to see if it would work or be tasty with any other kind of spirit. Let's do that. Let's do two, and you can shake one and I can shake one. Oh, heck yeah. Averna, Suze. Here we go, because I never do this on the channel. I never make anything. Now the ice. This is our exciting method of storing ice cubes. <laughs> yeah. Normally I don't show this part because it's not very glamorous. Yeah. Now you know. Cap it okay. and shake it. What are these exciting Adorable. glasses? These are hilarious. Are All right, oh. double strain. Into your cocktail glass. That's right. Well, oh. oh, there's no foam on mine. It didn't work. Mine's kind of working. The Averna doesn't have the thin layer of foam that the Campari did, but it kind of changed the color. Okay, let's. I'm gonna just try the Suze because I'm just. Right, I'm gonna try this one. There's no foam on the Suze, Cheers. but it could also be my technique. So I don't know. <laughs> it does make it easier to drink Suze. I'll try the, the Averna. Okay. Oh. Mm-hmm. Hey, that's good. That's really good. Whoa! The Averna, to me, almost tastes like root beer. It's really enjoyable. I think that's really... I would have this for dessert. Yeah, I would too. It makes it taste sweeter. That's that so is, good. That is great. Try shakerato-ing everything. Yeah. Shakerato everything. Shakerato something and let us know if it successfully shakerato Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, sign up for the newsletter. Don't forget your merch. And we will see you next time. Goodbye. Cheers.